What's up everybody? It's uh, Monday. We are at our first install of the week and uh, we are out here on Lake James and uh, we have uh, we've got these two tops here with backsplash and I've got a real nice customer here. I've already been chatting with them um, and I thought, you know, why not do a video here? It's too nice of a place not to, too nice of customers not to. So. So we got this laminate tear out first. We'll start with it. And, and like all my other videos, I will uh, walk you through, uh, you know, the process. And if we run into anything, I'll show you what we run into and how we get through it. Um, I don't really foresee any problems. It should be, uh, should be fairly simple. This top here is going to be a bear to get in because of it's a tight situation. So to be honest, I don't, uh, this one here is going to be a struggle. So we, we may have to do something with this one. So I will let you know and we'll go from there, guys. As you guys can see on the backsplash on the sides of the cabinet, it is screwed from inside the cabinet. There's no way for me to get to that. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same over here. After the backsplash is out, we still got these screws sticking through. Um, Jay, what, what's your thoughts on how we get these screws out of here? Well, being that they're probably sheetrock screws, they'll probably break wet right off. Okay. Because I don't see no way, unless you want to take the stove out to get those out. Uh, no. So you say hit them with a hammer? Is mm -hmm. that your thoughts? Yeah. here I was able to just slide the refrigerator out and, and get them out. Mm-hmm. Alright, so this is kind of the top that we're going to be putting in here, uh, but ours has got meat back here, which I'd need to cut that off. But we got this to contend with, not to mention ours is about, I don't know, 10 times heavier than this. Uh, and a hundred times more fragile. So we're going to go up. And then you come to this right here. And then you got to slide it back. Slide it, slide it. Right. Stuff. Right. It will not go any further. Because we got this and that. So it will not happen. Not even theoretically. Alright guys, everything's tore out, we got the screws out of the side of the backsplash, I gotta put a seam in this one. Because it wouldn't fit in that cabinet, I had to set up down here with bars and I went ahead and cut a seam in the center of the sink. I already had a line made there. It's the least amount of material I had to cut through. And by using the bars and the no lift and this, it didn't move. And I was able to get a nice clean cut. And uh, I think there was a little bit of luck and a little bit of the blessing from the Lord, the reason it turned out this well. All right, guys, we got the second sink run in. Uh, I just made a short of us trying to get it in. David got a little hung up on the dishwasher ear, so didn't get to see it finished in here. But... Uh, if, as you can see, these cabinets are floating like crazy. Oh my God, these cabinets are bad. Guys, sorry I had to set the phone down, but I had to get some shims. These are awful, bad, 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 bad. As you can see, we've got 
we've got almost a half inch gap in the front side here. That is why we always put the aluminum rails on here. You never know what you're gonna get on the cabinets. I got my seam together drying up. I modified my uh, Ardwolf joint setter because uh, of course I didn't have enough meat here to put them on. And I cut my seam in this out there in the driveway. Uh, so it's another example of getting the job done uh, for the customer and for the company. Uh, you do what you gotta do to where everybody's happy also where we had the issue with the cabinets um, went ahead and uh, taped two shims together now David's going underneath now with clear silicone and uh, caulking that out we've got shims back here as well just to try to secure it everywhere we can All right, guys, we got the job finished. It, it turned out great, and uh, I'll be honest, I've been blessed here lately with very, very good customers. Uh, the, these people here were, were awesome. Um, I ended up having to split this top here in half uh, to get it in here, but uh, I think it turned out very well. I was able to do a seam phantom out there in the field, and uh, we, we just we make it work. Um, it would have been easier if I'd have put the seam in it at the shop, but hey, it is what it is. I don't make people go without a kitchen. Um, we, we make it work. Uh, the backsplash right under the outlets. Put it right under the window sill. I uh, went with a clear silicone on this. Um, like I showed you, had a little bit of an issue with the cabinet here, but uh, we put the... Uh, transparent silicone in there and then we got our shims and our support and everything uh it, it wasn't quite half inch it's only about a quarter inch but uh I, it'll be fine um everything turned out well so uh guys i really appreciate y'all watching and uh, i will see you on the next one their house guys this is their uh steps down to their uh lake this is lake james friggin awesome they're docked that's the word i was looking for